third thing that I did, I think this is the most important thing that you're like, and I feel like it's like so obvious, but like sometimes people don't do this. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stuff and my channel is designed to help you stay organized and educated so you can live your dream life. In this video, we will be talking about how I saved $10,000 in six months. All right, so the first thing I did for saving $10,000 in six months was figure out how much money I was able to set aside from my salary to go towards savings. So I'm saving this money for my student loans. As you guys know, I have quite a few student loan updates that I've been doing and I am doing them every single month. I will link one of them above for you so you guys can check that out if you want to. So when calculating how much money you're gonna be able to set aside for savings, you're gonna to wanna to factor in the amount of like rent you need to pay, like your living costs, like groceries, other things that you may have to like account for, such as like your car, filling up your car with like gas, like car maintenance, um, how much you're gonna to donate to like church or other organization each month and then once you like run through all the costs that you're going to have to have each month then figure out a good number that would be doable for you to set aside each month so that number for me was around fifteen hundred dollars so i would have at least a minimum of fifteen hundred dollars that i would set aside at the beginning of each month to go towards my savings account for my student loans ideally if you're trying to save ten thousand dollars in six months you're going to want to do somewhere upward of fifteen hundred dollars if you do around 1670, then you're going to be able to get like exactly $10,000 uh, or like slightly over $10,000 by the end of six months. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is make a budget. So this budget is going to include your expenses, the amount of money that you plan to save and are saving, and then also like your overall income and any extra money that you bring in for the month. So when you're looking at your income or your expenses and you're making a budget to account for all your expenses, please try to include everything. There are tons and tons of budgeting videos on YouTube and just like um, templates and different things on the internet that you can find. But making sure that you're including all the expenses, even like little ones, because those can add up. For example, I like to eat lunch at my job and I realized quickly like it would be like 10 to $15 that I was spending every day that I would go into work when I could have been saving that money to go towards something else. So make sure you're accounting for like every single expense that you have and making sure you're giving yourself a allowance or an estimated amount of money that you're going to spend towards that and then try not to go over it. It's going to be a good idea to actually track your spending for a few months or like a month and then see like what do I tend to spend my money on? Like what am I doing and like why am I spending this much money on like certain things? And then seeing where you can cut your costs and seeing how you can like limit the amount of money that you're spending towards those things. On your budget, you can separate your expenses out into like necessary expenses and then like kind of like fun things that you're like doing for yourself um so in like necessary expenses it's going to be your rent if you do ties or offering or like donations to some sort of like foundation or charity um you're also going to want to put in like gas and like just things that like help you run your household so like groceries and then in your like other expenses that can be like self-care um different things that like you do for fun like going out with friends or um doing like work things or like a hobby that you have. Now make sure while you're doing this budget that you're holding yourself accountable, like try not to go over that money, making sure you're able to like track it at, each, at the end of each month so you know exactly what you've been spending and what areas you need to cut down on for the next month. But keeping a budget has really, really helped me because I realized like back I said before, I spend a lot of money on lunch and like food, like other things I didn't need to spend on. And then I also would spend a lot of money on like different clothing things, where I could be like waiting for like sales and getting those things on sale instead of having to pay like full price for them when I could get them on sale. The third thing that I did, I think this is the most important thing that you're like, and I feel like it's like so obvious, but like sometimes people don't do this. Take the money out when you get paid. Do not leave it in your account because you're not gonna, you're not gonna put the money towards <laughs> your, your savings. You're just gonna be like, oh, like I'll do it later. And then that money will be gone. You'll spend it on something else. So please take the money out right when you get paid so that you don't even touch it at all so what i do when i get paid is i'll just take that fifteen hundred dollars out of my checking put it into my savings and then it's done i don't have to worry about it i don't have to be thinking about like oh like i got this fifteen hundred dollars that i could spend on something or like oops like let me oops i spent too much like now i can only put twelve hundred dollars away nope like take it out and then don't even worry about it so that you don't even have to think about like spending it so please 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 you guys please be disciplined do it right away when you get paid 
if you get paid like monthly, do it at the beginning of the month or whatever, if you get paid, if you get paid like bi-weekly or weekly, like take out a chunk of each paycheck and just make sure it's set aside and you don't have to worry about it. My next tip is to cut costs like wherever you can. So a big thing that I did for cutting costs this year is thankfully I'm able to like live at home with my parents. So I'm like in my parents' house and I'm able to save a lot of money on rent. Like they're still making me pay rent, but it's not like as much as it would have been if I would have been in like a nicer apartment. And then also um, like spending money like for a car, um, like your travel to work, like try to cut costs where you can. So if you have like a cashback, like credit card or something that you can use for gas, that can be helpful so you can earn like points and stuff like that um, and rewards so that you can like use that money later on for like more gas or like whatever else you want to spend it on. Um, so helping me out, like me living at home has really helped with like my costs for like groceries and stuff. I still have to like contribute to like groceries too in my house, but it's not, it wouldn't be as much as if I was living on my own. Another thing about that you should do in terms of cutting costs like that really helped me was like making sure I'm taking care of my car. Like I sometimes am that person that like a light will be on telling me to go get something fixed and then I'm like, it still runs. Like, let me keep going. And no, that's not what you want to do. You want to make sure you're like actually going to get your car like fixed so like it's not going to cost you like a whole bunch of money. For example, in August, I like there was like an issue with my car um, with like the air conditioning stuff. And I was kind of like, like, I didn't know that that was an issue too. I just thought that I needed to go get like a maintenance checkup because my mom was like telling me to go get, get a maintenance checkup on my car. And I was like, fine, like whatever. I kept delaying it and delaying it and delaying it. And then like, I ended up having to pay for that too. And the guy was basically like, well, like, you need to take care, like, better care of your car. Otherwise, like, you could have just avoided this. And I was like, oh, okay. So now I'm taking better care of my car. And I just, like, went to the car place, like, a few weeks ago and, like, got everything fixed again. So making sure you're taking care of your car so you don't have to, like, spend extra money on that unexpected. The next tip is to uh, limit your spending and then also trying to get things on sale when you can. So I was saying this earlier with another tip. But I do like to shop a lot and I like to buy a lot of clothes. So making sure I'm like going for the sales. So like around Black Friday time, that's like a great time to go to do different sales. Some stores, like if you pay attention, they do like kind of like bi-weekly sales. Like they'll do like a sale once a month. And like once you kind of realize that, then you can just like wait to buy the item when it's on sale instead of having to buy it for full price. The next thing that I did was not going out as much. So like obviously like I can't really go out. Anyways, because like everything that's going on this year, but like maybe you're, you're in the future and you guys can go out again, then like try not to go out as much or like limit the places that you do go out. And like making sure like if you are going out, like trying to not like buy the most expensive thing, like to eat or drink. And then also um, maybe going out with friends so you guys can like, like split things or like share food or whatever. Another thing that I did was trying to spend cash when I could. I couldn't do this always because of like the pandemic and like a lot of stores wanted us to use cards instead instead of having to like exchange cash back and forth and like having to like touch people and like touch the money that could be dirty so using your card was good but when you can try to use cash because that way you only have like a limited amount of cash that you can spend and you're not gonna like spend over that like with my card i'm like oh like swipe 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 i don't even know like what i'm swiping or like how much i'm swiping like whatever Whereas, like, when I have cash, I'm like, oh, like, you could actually see it, like, going down. And then you're like, oh, I can't, like, I can't spend over this amount this month. Or I can't spend over this amount this week. Now that we just talked about limiting spending, let me know what the craziest thing you've ever purchased in a month has been. My next tip is limiting your online shopping. This was hard for me because I, like, love Amazon and, like, H&M and, like, DSW. <laughs> like, oh, the past few months I've been like, oh, my goodness, ah! But seriously, like try to limit your online spending. Um, so like now at this point, I'm like, Dove, you're not going on those websites at all. Like there's nothing that you need to look at. Okay, like don't be trying to look at any more shoes. You have enough shoes. So I'm definitely trying to like limit my online shopping because I can just like run up the amount of money that you're spending each month. And I just need to like focus on saving and not spending as much money as I want to. And the other thing I find with like online shopping is sometimes I'll buy things in like multiple sizes or like multiple colors and I'm like oh like I'll just take one back and then like I'll end up like not taking it back when I sh like if I buy it in multiple colors and I should so making sure yeah definitely trying to like switch to shopping in store if you can so that you're not gonna like 
be inclined to like buy the whole store or like buy a whole bunch of things so you don't need to. My next tip is to look for extra side hustles so that you can increase the amount of money that you're saving each month. So this is like super, super helpful. It's been super, super helpful for me. So I started an Etsy shop called Dev of Wisdom. You can check it out. And then I also started a YouTube channel, but I'm not making money off of this at this point. With my Etsy shop, especially over the month of December, I was making a lot more money with that. So like that really helped me be able to save a, bu a bunch of extra money um, and set that aside towards my $10,000 or my savings account. So definitely look for different side hustles. Like YouTube's a big one, but like obviously it takes like a while to grow on YouTube. But there are like other avenues you can do, such as like creating an Etsy shop, um, like tutoring students, doing something like at your school. Maybe you're just going to pick up like a side job at like a grocery store or like a retail store. And then just like saving, setting that money aside to go into your savings account. My next tip, which also kind of goes off my side hustle tips, is setting aside like the extra money that you have at the end of the month and putting that straight into your savings account. At the end of the month, I normally don't spend all the money that's in my checking account. And so at first, I used to just be like, oh, like, let me move that money, you know, like, let me keep that money in there so I can like add to it the next month. So then I have even more money to spend the next month and then I can like buy even more things, which is bad. So what I, I started doing was setting that money aside, like whatever money I have left over at the end of the month and just putting that into my savings account so that I have extra money saved to go towards my student loans. And like something else that I want to add that I think is important, like yes, you're trying to save money, but also like don't be afraid to like purchase things that you do really want or you do feel like you really um, like would like make your lifestyle like a little bit better. So if you like, if you do like, like clothing or like buying makeup or like doing like self-care things, like please do those things too. But like don't do them to the point where you're like throwing all your money into that and not allowing a lot of the money to be saved too. So do it in balance if you can. Let me know in the comments below what the highest amount of money that you've been able to save in a six months has been and what was your favorite tip from this video. And if you have any tips or advice to add, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye!